Port Hicks is located in East Gippsland around 475 kilometres east of Melbourne. You drive through the beautiful natural bushland of the Crow Jingalong National Park and then over the Thurrow River. The area remains largely unchanged from the time it was first sighted. In 1770, Australia was first sighted by Captain James Cook. Captain Cook recorded in his journal, I have named it Port Hicks because Lieutenant Zachariah Hicks was the first to discover this land. Great spot here. We were here, I was first here in 1971 and Heather was here in, Heather and I were here in 73. So it's good bush setting. Some things haven't changed at all, the campsites haven't changed at all and the, uh, the, the Cairn River itself changed because it's half silted up and full of reeds. Other than that we've just finished hunting a goanna out of our camp. We wanted our lunch. We're surrounded by these tiny birds that are about as big as a dollar, two dollar coin. We thought it was called Cairn River but it's actually called Point Hicks. And it's taken us 30 odd years to find that out. Today the draw card at Port Hicks is the 120 year old lighthouse, the tallest on the Australian mainland. To get to the lighthouse, walkers can follow the two kilometre track that follows the coastline and then climbs up through Tea Tree and Banksia bushland to the headland. From there you will experience magnificent views of this very rugged but beautiful section of the coastline. On 26 June 1888, a contract to construct the lighthouse was awarded to George Horn, whose tender was £13,990, 18 shillings and sevenpence. Standing at 130 feet, the lighthouse remains the tallest concrete lighthouse constructed in Australia. The tower wall is six feet thick at the base, narrowing to four feet at the top. The cast iron internal spiral staircase leading to the lantern house has 140 steps which are set into the wall and there is no central support column. The Fresnel lens has a range of 26 nautical miles. It's worth somewhere between two and four million dollars and it's one of only 16 left in Australia that are still intact with the original crystal lensing. Satellite navigation, improved shipping technology and the discovery of the Bass Strait oil fields all conspired to bring about the demise of the Port Hicks Lighthouse. In January 1991, the primary light at Port Hicks ceased operation and was replaced by a much smaller solar light.